guys, it's Steven from Fricelli. Happy holidays and welcome back to my kitchen. Chicken fried chase may be a dish you think, oh, that's fancy stuff, I can only get out of a restaurant, but we're gonna teach you how to make it at home. It's simple, it's easy, it's delicious. We're gonna make it with a side of penne, but you could also serve this with rice or vegetables. Cameron and Courtney, you ready to start cooking? We're actually gonna start with the sauce first, but we wanna have everything prepped for the chicken so we're not racing back and forth. So to make the chicken, it's very simply a very thin sliced chicken breast. If you can't find thin sliced ones at the supermarket, you get thicker ones and cut them in half. But for this dish, it's really preferred to have them thinly sliced. Got some salt and pepper, an egg, and some all-purpose flour in a plate. So that's it for the prep. And let's get started on the sauce. So you could definitely make this dish all in one pan, but we're gonna be making a little extra sauce because we're actually gonna be pouring that over the penne. So we're gonna make it separately. Also, it does make it easier to not worry about burning things and everything being consistent. So we're gonna make it in a small pot here. We're gonna start with three nice cloves of garlic. So we're gonna start by putting a little bit of oil on the bottom of the pan. Just want like a gentle coating because this is gonna be the sauce with, so we don't want it super oily. I'm also gonna throw some butter in there to so have a nice mixture to start putting the garlic in. So I cut the garlic into small chunks. It doesn't really, really matter how you do it because it's gonna be in a sauce. You're not gonna be really eating the garlic. And we're gonna go ahead and toss those in there. So you wanna cook the garlic till it's getting just slightly brown. All right, our garlic is starting to turn a little brown, so we're ready to add some white wine. So I've got a very healthy pour of white wine, so don't overthink it, just basically a, a very full glass. We're gonna let it cook and reduce a bit so the exact amount's not super important, so we're gonna go ahead and pour that in. Our wine is poured in there, and we wanna bring this to a boil, so it boils down a little bit and reduces. We don't wanna just completely taste wine, so we want this to boil down a bit. So. Once that's down to about uh, half of what it was before, we'll be ready for the next step. The wine and garlic together has been boiling for about two or three minutes, and it's really starting to boil down already. We're near about that halfway point. So we're gonna go ahead and add one cup of chicken stock to the mixture here. Could also use half chicken stock and water, or just water. I think the chicken stock will give it a little heartier taste though. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that in. And while that's in there, we're gonna wait till this comes to a boil again, but as soon as it hits a boil, we'll bring it back down to a there, simmer. Went ahead and lowered the temperature down, and then I'm gonna take a nice chunk of butter. This is uh, chicken franchise, French style, basically translates to more butter, all right? So we're gonna throw that in there. And to top it off, we're gonna do a fresh squeezed lemon, half a lemon squeeze there, and stir it occasionally, leave it on the lowest heat you got, and the sauce is done. We've got the sauce back burnered, and I also started boiling a pot of water for our pasta, which we're using as our dish. And now I've got a large frying pan, pouring a little bit of canola oil. You want a nice even coating along the bottom. You don't want too much, because we're gonna fry the chicken in this. You don't want it splattering everywhere. So nice thin coating. We're gonna get that heated up and then prep the chicken. First step, super easy. We're gonna put a generous coating of salt and pepper to both sides of each chicken cutlet. So let's start with the salt. Then with the pepper, don't be shy with it because this is going to give it some nice flavor. Then I'm going to flip them all over and repeat. Next up, easy breezy, just going to crack an egg and scramble it with a fork in the bowl. Very, very easy and you could add a salt and pepper crack there as well. You don't need much because there's already a lot on the chicken. Some people put it in the flour, but I just like putting it in the egg mixture myself. So the next part, even easier, we're just gonna dip in the cutlets in the egg and then a nice even coating of it on the flour. So you wanna make sure it's evenly covered and over the entire cutlet. Our chicken has a nice coating of flour the oil is now hot, so we let that heat up while we're prepping them, and we're gonna go ahead and start dropping these in. Now these are gonna cook pretty quickly because remember, these are very thinly cut. So you gotta keep an eye on these, we don't wanna burn them. So we've got it at a low to medium heat on the burners, because we don't, again, we don't want this like blasting all over the place. So it's gonna just take a couple minutes each side because once again, very, very thin chicken cutlets. So once they start getting a little brown on the other side, you can flip them over. These still need about another minute, but then we'll go ahead and flip them over. 
Hopefully you can hear me over all this uh, bubbling and boiling over here, but we're ready to flip these over. So that's about what it should look like when you flip it. Let's check on the others. This one needs another minute. This one's good to go. Beautiful. Now they're all flipped over, looking nice and just a little golden brown to them. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and throw in the pasta. So this part, really don't overthink it. Just making some pasta, following the instructions in the box, can make it al dente. We're going to have some uh, small penne hair, penne regatta, number 76. A half a box with just the two of us. Me and Cameron and Courtney, that is. Alright, so we're just straining the pasta really quick. Then I also grabbed some fresh parsley and some grated Parmesan cheese. The cheese we're going to use for the pasta, just give it a little bit of kick. So we have the pasta on the dish with the chicken. I also using the other half of the lemon to make some nice lemon slices. I went ahead and gave the sauce a nice final stir and I grabbed a strainer just so we don't get those chunks of garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that over both the pasta and the chicken. And it could be a little runny. This is really tasty stuff, so don't be afraid to give a nice healthy coating. On the top with some nice fresh parsley. They're already looking great. As promised, we're gonna just add like a little bit of cheese or a lot of bit of cheese. We like cheese over here, so that's about a third of a tablespoon there. I'm sorry, a teaspoon there. And then just a little bit of cracked pepper. And you can throw a little cracked pepper on the chicken as well. And then we have a beautiful chicken franchise served the side of penne. The slightly more burnt sides were actually more photogenic, so we went and plated them as so. We made this with a side of penne, but if you want it a little bit more on the healthier side, also try it with spinach. And rice is also a very nice complement to this dish. If you enjoyed watching it, please like the video and please subscribe. We are a new cooking channel. Likewise, we also encourage you to make the dish. It's very easy and look how beautiful it came out. If you make it, please tell us how it came out and thanks again for watching.